Hey guys, we're back. It's been a while and we apologize, but it's been crazy busy in a good way and we are playing catch up now. So if we look tired. We are. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. But hey, we're gonna do a review on the North Pole Resort up in the Adirondack Mountains, New York. It was awesome. when we were booking campgrounds. We have a 40 foot class A motor home. We flat to a Jeep. We have two kids ages 13 and eight and two English Bulldogs. What we look for in the campgrounds are full hookups, which for us, we look for 50 amps, water and sewer, Wi-Fi, firewood, propane, proximity to the local attractions, proximity to grocery and other shopping, making sure it's quiet and peaceful. And of course that it's fun for the kids. So yeah, we just spent a week in the North Pole Resorts. It's in Wilmington, New York, the Adirondacks. It was absolutely gorgeous. We went the last week of May, which is right before their busy season starts. It's like basically right when the camping season started there, but right before everyone else comes in. And that was incredible. Memorial Weekend was our last weekend there. And it did get a little busy then, but it was still totally worth it. Ho, 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 Santa Claus is back, guys. Hey, did you see this hat? I'm not gonna tell you where we are right now, but I love this hat, it's beautiful. But we were at the North Pole up in uh, near the Adirondacks in New York. I recently lost my mother, so I've been a lot of, there's been a lot of crazy things going on in my life and dealing with that, taking care of the coach, it's been emotional. So if you've ever lost a loved one, you know you're there, but you're really not there mentally. So we left Niagara Falls, we pulled through Syracuse. It was a lot of fun. We got to see the Carrier Dome and the University of Syracuse campus. When we stayed there, Jennifer and I got to have a cute little date night at a casino there, which was really fun to take my mind off of things and help. But since I wasn't there emotionally, mentally, mentally see, I'm still not there, <laughs> but I wasn't there mentally and I was having troubles emotionally. I left one of our hookups uh, my pressure valve for our water sensor and our Y valve. I just, I left it at the pull through for some reason. I got distracted. We pulled out of Syracuse. We're heading to the North Pole. So long story short, when we got to the North Pole, they had, honestly, I said that about Niagara Falls, the best store I've ever seen. And you'll see the pictures. They had everything. They had my water pressure PSI gauge that I like to use. They had a Y valve that I needed as well. Cause if we didn't have those, the coach is regulated at 60 PSI. It could have done damage and caused water issues inside the coach. Luckily they came through. I paid out my whoop for it, but hey, I had it and it kept us safe. And so we're good and I was thankful of that. So the store was amazing. I even bought water shoes there. The customer service at this place is top notch. I even had an experience with a package that I needed to have delivered there that didn't make it while we were there. And one of the young ladies helped me out by sending it to me after, which is a far above and beyond. And I'm super grateful for that. Hey, so while we were in the North Pole, which is a great name, we were 20 minutes from Lake Placid, which was home of the 1932 and 1980 Olympic Games. They've got Olympic training facilities there as well. It was amazing and it was beautiful. While we were there, we did some quick sightseeing, picked up some supplies and ate at this place called the Dak Shack our first night there, which was really good. I would say the Dak Shack was really and truly the only great place that we ate there. So food No, was... we had pizza. Oh, we did? Remember? No. It was so good. That was one of the best pizza places, but it left a memory uh, and then on my memory, but not my wife's, but it was good. It was very good. <laughs> As far as activities around the North Pole and in the Adirondacks, oh my gosh, we didn't even scratch the surface and we were there for a week. One of the first things that we did was the Ossible Casa. Well, I want to say that was about 45 minute drive from where we stayed, but we basically hiked through the Ossible Casa. So you kind of hike up and around it. And then we went down and we took a guided raft through the water in the chasm. Um, so the Ossible Chasm is one of the great adventures to do there. Another thing that we did is the Adirondack Wildlife Refuge. All this beautiful, well, two beautiful black bear, right. um, but one that came right up eye level with this. So it was kind of creepy. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, but totally cool. Another popular activity there is Whiteface Memorial Highway, and that is where you can drive all the way up to the summit. And apparently, the view is amazing. Would have loved to have done it, but this is our lifestyle. This isn't just a vacation. So we kind of have to pick and choose what we're going to do, what we have time for. And that one we decided uh, we would hold off on but definitely check it out if you're in the area. One of my favorite things, besides my beautiful wife, was the little fishing holes in the mountains and the hiking trails at the Adirondacks. So they had these awesome signs 
and it told you a fishing pond was here or a pull-off was here for fishing or this was a hiking trail here so we did a half a mile hike to this beautiful lady and i was the only one there fishing had the whole pond excuse me to myself it was awesome it was a, a, an amazing experience it was surreal again movie like and that fishing hole was called quarry pool pond i believe and like he said it was just us when we went but i drove past again on memorial weekend because we went during the week and it was packed there were at least eight cars there so i imagine that's not as enjoyable but if you're lucky enough to get there and see nobody pull over and go enjoy it it's incredible yeah so the kids absolutely loved this location just as much as we did there's an arcade there on site which they went and played their little hearts out over and over they have putt putt we did not end up doing putt putt but it looked adorable there's a great playground which our little guy met lots of friends on and played a lot there and there's also a really cool water view so our site was really nice. We stayed in site 11, which is one of the premium larger sites here that we had this covered picnic table area next to our site. So that was nice. We had this large uh, grassy space for the dogs. There are two sections to the campground. There is the resort section, which is where our site was. And there's also a hundred acre wood section, which is just down the road and across the street. And that's just what it is. It's like a very wooded camp section. But I'm really glad that we had our site in the resort section. It was quiet, so it checks that box. But also, I just liked having the store right there. I liked having the playground, and I liked having the arcade and all the things that the kids enjoyed right there where they didn't have to cross the street. We didn't have to worry about any of that. So I enjoyed being in that section personally. Behind all the back end sites, it was tucked into the woods, literally tucked in behind your back in sight, which was where the fire pit was or the, the hangout area for when you were camping at night. And everyone would kind of huddle up behind, the, behind their RVs or coaches and have their fire pits and their chairs around. And it was awesome. It was like you were truly camping in the woods, but you take five steps out of the woods and you're right there at your, uh, your campsite. So that was really unique. I'd never seen anything like that. And I really liked that. It was, it was impressive. Speaking of firewood, you know that we're big on having great camp firewood. Uh, they did sell decent firewood there however what you can do is when you're driving down the road these private homes they sell camp wood because they know that there's so many tourists that come through and well i mean quite honestly they have to have uh, wood constantly throughout the winter to help heat their homes and such which so, we picked that up we we like to support local so we did buy i, I think i don't even know how many yeah, bundles of firewood like five bucks you can get them a couple bucks cheaper when you do it that route for wi-fi on site they do provide wi-fi but uh this was probably this <laughs> this was probably this funniest wi-fi that we've had yet but hey we were in the adirondacks okay so we were in right. a, a pretty cool location and if you can't survive without wi-fi all right yeah so, we had to use our third party wi-fi through at&t so that worked actually really well so we still had to work this but the wi-fi there was the only blip on the radar we always check for propane we offer propane there so that's a huge plus especially for full-time travelers like ourselves there was hannaford's grocery right down the road in lake placid so that's where i would go to get the groceries and again it's about 20 minutes but it's a gorgeous drive to lake placid great little grocery store has everything i need so another check another plus so overall north the north pole up in the adirondacks has been one of my favorite sites i know i seem like i say that about all of them but picking at parsons parson west virginia and the adirondacks are in my top five for sure they are amazing beautiful places on a scale of one to five uh, with that location everything natural beauty ponds lakes hiking you name it it's there five out of five they did everything yeah i have to agree i know it sounds like we're saying five stars a lot but just keep watching because there's a couple <laughs> coming up that may not be but definitely five stars on this highly highly recommend if you're going to the area there is a koa nearby as well um but i'm so glad that we chose this private local, local. campground local yeah and it was it was wonderful absolutely loved it so also five out of five and we would definitely be back if we were in the adirondacks again hey just because all of our videos have been five out of five i promise you that all the sites that we've been at through the northeast have not been five out of five we've stayed some places that were uh, one nights or two nights or pull throughs and they don't even come close to fives they don't come close to twos but hey we're not here to dog anybody. We understand that things are different and people are different. So we're not here to bash anyone. We just kind of like to talk about the, the highlights. I did a ton of research of these places. Uh, 
back in December and January. And so we stayed there late May. So I booked in December and January for these locations. So you're getting to benefit from the fact that I did so much research and that's why we're going to locations that are pretty dang great. So hopefully that saves you a little bit of time and you can jump in and just enjoy it without all the headache of the research. Until next time. See ya, I don't even know what to say. I'm so tired, it's called zombie day. Bye.